Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite. And as you can see, it has been raining. It's a little bit later. It's about quarter to seven. The guys are meeting me up at the yard at eight o'clock. So I had a change of plans today. We're not starting the big job that I've mentioned. We are gonna go take care of all the colored and stamped concrete we've been pouring. So I'm gonna start here at my house. We poured this, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And this is one of the first bigger areas that I did, which I used the magnetic stamps on. And with the magnetic stamps, you can't use powdered antique release agent. You have to use liquid, clear liquid. So that's what we did here. And I'm gonna easy take it. I'm using Brick Forms product, but all the major manufacturers have their own version of that. So I'm gonna start here, kind of practice, make sure it's gonna turn out right. And then we're gonna go to a job that we stamped um, not far from here, same pattern. And then we're gonna color that one as well, as long as this one turns out all right. That's for a customer. And then after that, we have to go acid wash a patio uh, way out in Eagle, Wisconsin. It's a big stamp patio that we did. Uh, so we're gonna take care of all this stamp concrete, do a bunch of washing and coloring and sealing today. And I'm gonna take Eric and Tino with me. I really only need one guy, but um, I'm gonna bring Tino along as well. I know he needs the hours, so. It's not that big of a deal. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Half full. I guess you get the day off today. I'm so sick of eggs. Chicken, I'm gonna get one of these again. It's really the only other thing I can think of eating. And this chicken is so dry, I had it yesterday. I could barely choke it down. So I'm gonna put dressing on it. I mean, it is dry, dry. It is like beef jerky, but chicken. It's like chicken jerky. Sure, yeah. Morning. Morning. You forgot to say good morning. You just straight to rewards or fuel. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Uh, I don't like this rain. It just has me so achy. Yeah, other places. Yeah, I don't like the rain either. Thank you. Nice morning, time. Jessica. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yes, I'm still drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. Somebody emailed me and said that, uh, <laughs> they said Diet Dr. Pepper basically turns into rat poison when your body metabolizes it. I don't know if I believe all that, but I know it's not good for you. I just like it. I only have one a day. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm gonna eat my super dry chicken in peace and then meet the guys at the yard. Pulling up to the yard and Bugs is here. Bugs brought a car dolly this morning and he's finally taking his yellow ranger home. So that's good. I'm gonna clean the back of my truck out. This truck is a mess. The other guys won't be here for at least 45 minutes. Jade's coming. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Don't jump. thing's got holes in it oh look at that it's got little holes on the top that's weird that's really weird it's not even beat up probably from poor manufacturing i would say look how big these are bugs look how big these new ones are five by five those are the real aggressive inca stone yeah i like that i like the two different yeah. You know. Yep. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. They put that reinforcement in them, and it makes them even stronger, although it's lighter. Oh, yeah. No, I see. It's almost like fiber mesh. Man, I got a lot of stamps now. That's good. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah, right. I had two bottles of goo gone. I can't find either one. Someday when I have a building, everything's going to be perfectly organized when I have enough space to do that. Right now I have nowhere near enough space. Hopefully next year, hopefully. I bought this little can. I needed a little bit of gas when I bought this blower. I didn't want to buy another gas can and oil, so I don't know. This was pre-mixed gas. They sell right in Home Depot. In a can. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yep. Oh, is this the, from yeah, the guy? Yeah. Hot venison sticks. Ooh. 
Dick at Addy's floor covering in Adele. So what does he do? Carpets? Yeah. Any kind Laminate? of flooring. Any kind of flooring. You name it. He's been doing it his whole life and this dude's huge. Man, I don't know how he works on the floor all day, but he Really? Does. Man. He's huge, man. So. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See and I won't be on the job what the boys give you later. I was part of that too. So. Alright. Thank you. Thank you in advance. So it is Friday, May 19th right now. And you guys won't watch this video for like a week and a half. But tomorrow is my birthday. My wife and I are going to go out to dinner. I think uh, we're going to spend some time with my mom as well tonight. Okay, I need some shark grip. And I got to put these stamps somewhere safe. My little victory stamps. Maybe my little tool for the joints. Can I just give you some money for some goo gone? Because that's really all you need. Okay, I'm going to put these tools in the shed on the shelf. Can't forget that. I have a video to remind me. Put them right up here. <laughs> Jade hesitantly went, but she wanted to stay over here and work. Much square feet this stuff it says you got to wait two to four hours for drying so that should be fine two to three thousand square feet per three pound container this is three pounds here well that's a lot so you just you spray it on nice and even I'm sure I can handle that let it dry and and seal it so we'll pressure wash we'll put this stuff on and seal it later it's gonna be very easy I know a lot of guys put this in a five gallon pail and they use like a car wash brush and they just kind of swirl it around the surface. I watched some videos, I know what I'm doing. Man, I need a spray shield. I'm gonna pick up a spray shield too. Cause I'm sure you're not supposed to get this color on the siding or the block of the house. Hopefully I gave a shout out to this guy in a previous video, but he sent me a visor pen clip cause he noticed down in here, I got a mess going on. That's one thing I am not good at. I've never been good at. It's a bad habit is keeping my vehicles clean because I usually just do this. And then I move on and clean it when it gets really bad. But thank you if you're the one that sent this. That's yeah, nice. It's not in, not in the way or anything. Put some other pens in here that I got laying around. Boom, 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 boom. I got room for one more. And I got a package of pens back here. Boom. Seven. Seven rounds. Cookies? You like cookies? Especially oatmeal. Yeah? Raisin. Mmm. So I'm gonna give you my credit card. I need you to dump that. There's barely anything in there. That's not true. There's gravel and then some dirt. There's gravel in there? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. And then we put dirt on top of it. But either way, it's got to get dumped. I don't really care. Can you see if that one's empty? I don't remember. Oh, there's just a little bit of topsoil in there. Just a tiny bit of topsoil. That's empty? Oh. It's full? I remember one of them was full. What is it, gravel and dirt? Yeah. Like a mixture of junk? Junk. Dump that, disconnect that. There's only a little topsoil in there, but I got to have it out of the truck and then fill everything up. So Monday morning, everything's 100% ready to go. And that's all you're doing today. Just making sure everything's 1000% ready, yeah. Work less, get paid more. It's a sweet deal, really. Sun's coming out. It's gonna be a really nice day today. We did have quite a bit of rain last night, but it's moved out. And all weekend's supposed to be gorgeous. Sunny, 70s. And I didn't put a lot on my schedule for tomorrow on my birthday. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow. I'm going to edit for about half the day and then take a half a day to do whatever I want. And then go out to dinner with my wife at night. And then I'm going to do a live session. It's going to be a good weekend. Just waiting on Eric and Francisco. I said Francisco again. <laughs> I'm waiting on Eric and Tino. Francisco will be joining us again next week. He's supposed to have a doctor's appointment today, 
and hopefully they're gonna give him a release so he can come back next week. He's dying to come back, he's so excited. He's called me a couple times in the last week and he's just itching, ready to go. This is gonna be an interesting day, doing stuff for the first time, seeing what it looks like. I love learning, man, I love doing new stuff. I just been running in to the right people, talking to the right people, giving me ideas, encouraging me to buy new stamps, try new techniques. I got the form liners I'm gonna try, the magnetic stamps, I'm trying a different coloring system now. It's pretty fun. You know, concrete work, it's, it's not boring. There's always something new to learn. There's new techniques to try. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. I'm the type of person that could never go to the same office every single day and sit in the same chair behind the same keyboard. That's just not me. I would be absolutely miserable. I know some people, that's what they enjoy. That's what they like. I'm just not that way. Get the garbage out of here again. Like every five minutes, I have a pile of garbage in the passenger floor. You want an extra battery for cameras? Oh, yes, thank you. I need all that. I'll come and get it. I'm glad bugs remember, because I would forgot. I'll be out of battery in an hour, and that would be it. Thank you. All right, see ya. Bye, Dave. How's it going? Look how far are we going. We're driving all over the world today. That's perfect. Just, I gotta Your be home by four o'clock. Like four o'clock? Yeah. I gotta be to my attorney at three o'clock, so that should work out fine. Good. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Well, I didn't get this on the video, the but crew. yeah, the whole crew, Eric, Tino, Bugs, and Ramon, I didn't get it on video because I was on Instagram live when, oh, when Eric, no biggie. No biggie. Eric came up, but the crew got me a card, real nice, 46th birthday card. Yeah. Tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah, he, he first brought me this box. I, I was excited, yeah, with the hat. <laughs> and then I opened the box and I was like, oh, thank you, Eric. He put his old work boots in there. <laughs> but then he brought me the real gift. It's a brand new Carhartt t-shirt and a brand new Carhartt coat, which is super cool. Appreciate that from my guys. Last year, they got me that card, carved, hand carved wooden bear. So thank you guys, appreciate it. I just follow you. No. Huh? We're, gonna We're driving all over the place. You'll go through a tank of gas today. We gotta go, we gotta go out to Eagle. Yeah, we gotta wash and oh, seal yeah, that. We gotta, we gotta oh, go yeah. to Eagle twice. twice. Not yeah. once, twice. We gotta wait. That's, that's like three and a half hours of driving. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I gotta lock up the shed. I almost forgot that again. Now I gotta borrow tools from you? Man, you're a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm borrowing Eric's pressure washer because Bucks took one and we need another one. So I have like three, but only one of them's operational. Wow, you're so strong. I, I slept pretty good this day. You slept good? Yeah. What we're gonna do is get the stuff off and get teen oh why is my cat outside what are you doing outside anyways the plan is we're gonna get the stuff out yeah don't even get out of the truck yet because she's gonna run look at she looks like she's gonna run already mm -hmm. i'm gonna be chasing her on the yard we're gonna get the stuff out and then make sure tino gets started tino pressure wash just this new concrete here okay, okay. and if you're still waiting for us you can start to go down the driveway okay you know um, but we got to run to Home Depot and get the stuff we need and then by the time we get back you should be done And then I'm gonna hit it with that color and try that. Oh, so right. don't get out yet okay. I gotta try to capture my cat. <laughs> She's so bad. She's an indoor cat. She doesn't even have any claws But she keeps sneaking out of the house She's in these bushes somewhere in the hostas Caddy What are you doing out here? Please don't run because I'm not fast. Look at she's brushing up against the pricker bushes. Please don't run away. Got her! Why are you so bad? You stay in the house, okay? You can come out, I got her. She's so bad. You like cats? No, I don't like cats. What? Well, I don't mind them. But no, I don't. Whoa. She don't like you either. Did you yeah, see that? Oh. Yeah. How did Caddy get out? Oh. She was in the hostas outside. She, what? She was in the hostas outside. I found her by the pricker bushes. Yeah, I know. She's so bad. That filter, you don't take it out when you fill it. No? No. That's oh. meant to filter particles out from the gas oh. if you got it dirty. <laughs> yeah, way. Why is this in the way? <laughs> wow, Eric. Try not to blow the topsoil all over the yeah. place. 
I know. I mean, just be careful as you can. I might hire a Carlito. <laughs> for real. Yeah. And just put them over at my house for a whole week. Yeah. Grind the stumps and fix all the mulch beds. Put new mulch and weed and clean everything and make everything perfect again. Trim all the bushes and stuff. Oh, yeah, oh there's my cat again. This cat's going to get 25 to life if it doesn't come over here. You got to get that shot <laughs> Shot collar? I don't think cats are really good with shot collars, Eric. What kind of tip is that? I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, I just start way up there on the porch, come around and... If we're not back in time to start doing this, but we'll be right back. I just need sealer and a sprayer from here. Oh, shark grip if she has any. Doubt it. Gonna have to oh, she might have it. All right. Do you have any shark grip? Yeah. You do? Uh, all the way back. These? Yeah. Oh, they come in bags? I've never seen that. All right. This, and then, uh, do you have any of the extreme sprayers? The okay. I like them. The Swiss, Swiss Mex. Yes. Okay, so we got three stamp shield. Okay. This and this, and that's it. Yeah, you almost flipped the loader over. I saw that. No. <laughs> It was on one tire. Oh, you should see it on the concrete pile. <laughs> well, Bugs is over there washing right now. We got three other stamp jobs to go mess with. All right, thank you. Have a good day. This is plastic and you're supposed to be able to put acetone in here. Really? Yeah. We're gonna find out if it eats it up. I'm not paying for it. We got room. Now we're going to Home Depot. Home Depot again. I got a bunch of stuff to get today. Well, I've been coming here pretty much like three to five times a week for 20 years, so I should. I promise I spent $500,000 here. I promise. Over the last 20 something oh, yeah, years? Oh, yeah. you made this money. We need two today. Why does this one have a wood handle and this one has a plastic handle? I gotta start checking the stuff off because I'm gonna get confused. So I got like 20 things. Perfect. This. All right, I think that's everything. <laughs> Three. So when we get there, we'll put the stuff in here. We'll stir it up real good. We go. Dump it into the new can I got, and I'll just spray it on real carefully. And then the spray shields you'll have to hold against the regular concrete as I come along the edge. And then we're out of there. No, Eric, that's even too small for you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, everyone. You just trying to get on camera again? Yeah. I'm Awana. <laughs> Awana. That's cool. We'll have a. Erica. Hi, Erica. Have a good weekend. She's seen herself on one of the yeah. videos, and now she wants to get on every video. That's cool. <laughs> oh. I'll edit. I'll edit that out. That's just water. You getting that? You getting that water? Yeah, the same. Okay. It's all good, Eric. It's all good. No. Yes, all three. All right. You buying snacks over there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, did you want something? And Coke? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight, not gain weight. Man, me too. I'm trying to go to Jamaica next month. Are you really? Yeah, I'm have everything. I'm going in August. Then when you get big time, it's like, y'all got to do something. Yeah, right. Go to fuck y'all want to go. That's what I'm talking about. Lambo. I like that. Right. Eric, pull the Lambo up. Man. <laughs> I'm going to clock out. I'm going to go clean up for y'all. Yeah. I'm going to go sweet. See you later. Man, we're getting stuck everywhere today. Hey, hey, hey. Her eyes, you should see her eyes. She's the Lambo. She's like, oh, I could buy a Lambo brand new, Eric. Oh, yeah. But then I won't buy the land. That would be the most irresponsible decision I've ever made in my life. Oh yeah, your wife probably would be. Oh yeah, I'd be on the street. But I would have my Lambo, yeah. Yeah. No, actually I'd only have half a Lambo. Oh, but you can rent it. Oh yeah, so it's a business yeah. decision. Yeah. See? I'll let my wife know. I still got dry chicken stuck in my throat. It's gonna be a while. It's weird, Quick Trip's chicken when it's warm, it's so nice. But then when it cools off, it's like, it's horrible. It goes from the best chicken to the worst chicken ever. Man, look at Tino, he's making progress. I know. Okay, it's all clean. Let's keep going for a little bit. I'm gonna mix up the stuff. All right, I'm gonna follow all the instructions and hit it. 
neighbor. Oh, here comes my neighbor. Still sleeping? <laughs> yeah, right. What a mess, you, huh? You stain in this stuff? Yeah, right now. I don't know. It's all plastic. How's that gonna hold up? Tips, filter, seal. You probably gotta put it together. Oh, look at it. it has an air nozzle. If you got a little pump, you can pump it up. Give me five dollars. Why? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Autumn owes you five dollars. Put those aside right now. One picking. These look so good. These are huge. Man. Hi, I got you these flowers. That's from Kevin's Kevin's garden. These are really good. Yeah, I love asparagus. Uh, go fill up the bucket with water in the backyard. The other spit the other spigot. Just like almost here. So it's about it's about three and a half gallons, I would say. So this stuff you just mix. One cup per gallon. It's hard to even mess that up. I know, right? One, two, three, and a half. That's it, Eric. It's so easy. You stir it? Yeah, you just stir it up real, real good. And then dump it in the sprayer. And then that's it. Chocolate milk. <laughs> the surface has to be damp but not wet. Just blow that corner where it's extra wet. Okay. So it looks more like this. And then we'll just mist that real quick where it's a little dry. Yeah. And make sure it's all the same. I hope this, this works. Way? Is this the easier way? That's what I've been told, Eric. I'm gonna find out right now. Yeah. It's cleaner. I was thinking about doing that on the sidewalk too, but I was like, ah, we haven't even tried it. I know. What if it looks terrible? What if it looks terrible? And then the customer's mm. like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna set this camera up here, and hopefully we can watch the magic happen. Yeah. Bring the bucket, Eric. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it in over here so we don't make a big mess. All of a sudden you trip, the whole bucket just, oh. Uh, <laughs> don't say that, right? I know. Okay, I'm stirring it up really good. And I'm gonna pour it in there right away. I'm just gonna fill it a little bit, stir it up again and pour the rest. I don't want any sitting on the bottom of the bucket. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all that though. See that? Mix it right. I gotta get that all in there, shake it up. I heard it's kind of hard to mix, like it doesn't like to mix. If we don't get that in there, it's not gonna be right. Gotta get it all in there. I'm glad it took it all because I would have never guessed it was all chunky in the bottom. Apparently, if you got too much pressure, it's a pressure release. It's leaking all over, man. It is. That's what I like the And it's working out. All right, the surface is damp, not wet. So I'm gonna shake this thing up, make sure everything's mixed up really good. Good, how are you? Good. Who are you? You want to get arrested? What's up? You want to get arrested? You're on my property. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's up? Not much. I need you to come around the corner and give me an estimate. Oh, you're right around the corner. All right. It's a big driveway then, eh? Yeah. Cool. We like big driveways. They're easy <laughs> money, see? <laughs> All right, thank I you. Some... Look, it's coming out stronger now. Yep. It see it? But why? I've been, I've been shaking this every two seconds. Yeah, I do not like the sprayer. I do not like the sprayer. 
Yeah, I am gonna take it back. I, I don't like it at all. I feel like it needs to be blended a little bit better. Don't you gotta like scrub it? No. I mean, just here, because we're it's darker, you know? Yeah, it does, it looks good. I'm gonna put just a little bit more right here. I don't know why it came out dark right there. You know what I'm saying? We'll come back later and seal it, see if it pops. I mean, it added the color I was looking for and it looks, you know, pretty even. We'll let it dry now and then come back and seal it. I think on the patio that we're going to, I'm gonna put it on a little heavier, just a little bit heavier. That was easy though. Tino's gonna finish washing and we'll get out of here. Uh, you say that you're in me today and I do. You no, know, I do. Oh, you do? No, you're coming with us. Okay. Why do you want to go home all the time? No, I'm not. You said you didn't have to be home till four. Yeah, but it's just that it will be rushing by then. You'll, you'll be back in time. I gotta be at the attorney by three. Okay. So you'll have plenty of time because I gotta make it in time too. I gave him extra hours on his oh. check and he still tries to leave early. Pow! <laughs> yeah, he know. He's coming, Eric. Tino, you're gonna get pow from me, pow! <laughs> you keep trying to take off too many times. So I, th I feel good now about doing the patio for yeah. the customer now. We should uh, we should stop at the shop and get puddling boots for Tino and me because the next job's in the backyard. The new construction is gonna be pure mud. Uh, we came back to the yard. We're gonna get our puddling boots because it's gonna be a mud hole and we forgot them. All right. Man, I got some of that goo off. Made for it's made for tape adhesive. Yeah. Sprayed it once, went back, sprayed it again, took the rag. It wiped right off? Wipes right off, dude. Where is it? Because we need it. Okay, we are back at this job, you guys remember. Bring that goo on and a rag. Wow, this is really light. Yeah. It's not as heavy as a Honda. Ooh, muddy, muddy. And somebody left a, a brush there. Why is there concrete on the house? Just go in your socks and take your fingernail, the rag and goo gone and try to get them dots off. You gotta make sure you get the concrete off. If you just get it wet, it's gonna just look like it disappears, but it's not, it's not actually disappearing. Ray is done. He just texted me adios. <laughs> <laughs> All caps with the exclamation. Really? Yeah. I can start it and everything. Okay. If you wanna put your boots on over there, we'll move it around and okay. you wash and as soon as it's washed, We'll blow it off and then I'll put the color. Man, you got really short holes here, Eric. You should get a 50 foot hose. This thing's like 25 feet, man. We need the blower too, I said. Oh, I told you the blower and the shield. Leave that here. Yeah, leave that here. Okay, move it. Go against the house. This stuff ain't spraying for nothing. Eric, go get me the push broom. This this sprayer is junk. I can't take this thing no more. I can't even pump it up enough. Look at that. This stuff won't even spray. We need a wet rag. Oh wow. The stuff won't even come out of the sprayer. Go get me the five gallon pail. I need the uh the little scrub brush that we just put away. Grab the push broom.
I'm calling Chapin. I'm gonna see if they want to strike a deal. They give me a hundred sprayers a year, so I can use a new one on every patio. And I'll talk nice about I'll talk nice about their sprayers. Yeah, it worked at my house okay. As soon as we got here, it was all gummed up and wrecked. And you gonna make it, Tino? Yeah. Okay. Good. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Usually they use the brush, you know, the car wash brush, the little skinny one with the handle, and you dip it in, you stir it up, and you put it on. But I don't have one. I kind of like using a brush, to be honest. Because I can, I go around and I get the spots that are, you know, getting to be a little too heavy. And then you can kind of really work it. Get the look that you're going for, you know. Checking for any weird spots, and there is none. It all blended in. I got frustrated with that sprayer, to be totally honest. I stabbed my sprayer right in the heart last year. Yeah. Oh, I was mad. On to the next one. What am I? So we'll let this dry now and come back and seal it. Two coats. This will dry quick back here. You can see it's already drying up by the house. The only thing I noticed is that the joints, they don't get 100% coverage. You can kind of see through. I mean, it still looks good. But with powdered release, you can't see through uh, to the concrete color, obviously. You really get a lot of release sticking in the joints. Here, you can. it's semi-transparent. still looks good, though. As long as it's all even, it'll look like it's meant to be. Oh, we're going to take it straight to the trash can. Look at this. I know. Oh, right there is really bad. Step right here, Eric. Step right here. <laughs> That's bad. Thanks for letting me use your uh, pressure washer. Oh, no problem. <laughs> the next job is not going to be muddy. Yeah, we'll, we'll clean it. Oh, it's tired, it's just got woody can you put those closer? I got to keep these clean because I got to come back up here and seal in a little while. I think I should have put some mud tires on it. <laughs> that really won't help there because it doesn't power itself. <laughs> well, look at this joint. <laughs> Tino, put this on your head for your hat. <laughs> okay. it out with <laughs> now we got a long drive. We just pull up over here. We gotta wash this patio. Hi. What you been doing? You can't have, you can't have a trifecta if you don't have three of something. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, big mama's coming. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised she didn't see you guys. Uh, I just need the acid and the two sprinkler cans. I think I'm gonna start on this side. Actually, yeah, I will. I'm gonna start on this side. You want me to start off? I, it's already on, Eric. Make sure you get all this stuff from the saw. Just start here and get these two all the way. Okay. And then we'll start working it behind you. Patio's cracked already. Come and look, I'll show you. I'm serious. Okay. Falling apart already. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna have to rip her out. The whole thing. Concrete's kind of like uh, electricity. It takes the least path of resistance. So you know we saw these lines, so it cracks in the lines. It's cracked in the line. Yeah. But then when it gets to right here, it's a shorter distance to there than it is to keep going. Oh, so it's that's why I did that. Yeah. Yep. It did exactly what it's supposed to.
looking good. Real nice texture. And that second gray color will really pop when I seal it. 138. Wow! Just gotta get out of here quick. You gotta rinse that real quick and they'll just go. Not today. Oh, you mean with the color? This already has color. We don't have to do that. We use the powder on here. That's why there's two colors already. All right, I put everything away. Get out of here quick. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we're running out of time. Thank you. Go, Eric. Go, Eric. I'm going to be late to my appointment. I took a week to get a hold of him, and now I'm going to be now I'm going to be late. And he'll never answer again if I don't show. Oh, almost tripped. That would have been the third time of the year. 2.35. Seems like we didn't get nothing done today. We didn't even get half of what I wanted to get done, done. And I gotta be at my attorney in 25 minutes. All right, thank you. All right, see you guys. All right. Adios. It's 2.37 now. Like I said, we didn't get as much done as I wanted to. And I have to get to my attorney right now. I have a meeting and then I'm gonna go seal my house after that and then the other two jobs that you saw us work on today i'll hit those tomorrow and i'll add that to this video so anyways i'll see you guys in the morning adios okay i just got home i had to meet with my attorney about a situation that i can't talk about right now it has to do with a job site where there is a certain disagreement but maybe we'll talk about that later on that's been giving me anxiety so i'm back at my house and I'm going to seal this. So it looks good. I think it's gonna pop with the sealer. I put it on too light at my house. On the job we just went to, I put it on quite a bit heavier. And down here, there's a little bit of a darker area. And I noticed that when I was spraying, there might've been like a chunk that wasn't completely dissolved. I don't know if I'll spray it anymore. I probably won't because everything was spraying completely even. I was shaking that sprayer like crazy. And still, I ended up with that. So I don't think spraying it is the way to go. I think I'm going to stick with the bucket method. I think the patio that we did after this one, I think that one's going to look just right. So I'm going to grab some sealer now and give it a couple coats and see what it looks like. Yep, I don't like those two dark spots, but that's why I did my house first. I probably could fix that with some water and scrubbing, but I don't really mind. That's not gonna bother me, honestly. That's why I practiced at my house before I did that on a customer's house, though. Now I just feel a lot more confident about using that stuff. I know what it's all about, and I know it's better to rub it around with a, with a push broom, or as other people use a car wash brush. Hi, Daniel. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, now it is. Uh huh. You thought you weren't on, but you actually are. I like it. It'll be interesting to see what that patio looks like tomorrow where I put it on a little heavier. But it looks very natural. One little mistake there with the color, but other than that, for not really spending much money at all, other than that little bit of color, see that sealer leaves a nice little sheen, but it's not overly shiny or it looks plasticky and fake. Okay, we're done for today. That looks all right. It's not perfect, but it was more of a practice round and I learned a few things about the whole process. Tomorrow we're going to seal the we're going to seal both patios we we worked on today. I think those are going to turn out really good. All right. I will see you guys in the morning. Adios. How much garbage do we make? You're being bad this morning. Good morning. It is about 6.30 and I'm just getting ready. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's funny. My kids wrote all over my truck. Happy birthday. <laughs> Honk. 
Happy birthday, Pops. Happy birthday, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So you guys won't see this video until well after my birthday. Today is May 20th, which is my birthday. But we're a little backed up on the videos. And they gave me a card too. All right, that card was from my son and that meant a lot. Uh, it means a lot when you get something from your adult kids, especially a 21 year old like that. So this is what this turned out to look like. You know, I could be better. I'm gonna be honest, it's not great. I just didn't put the stuff heavy enough. You know, the color of the antique agent. It's not great. So go ahead and criticize. I'm criticizing myself. You know, you gotta practice and learn when you start something new. And that's what I did here. But we are off to go seal those other two jobs today. And we're gonna knock that out. And then I'm going, din going to dinner with my wife for my birthday. Morning. They gotta get you more help on Saturday. You know what's crazy? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Quick trip just, man, they're just not the same. Those of you that have followed me through the years of videos know that Quick Trip used to be just super organized, super clean. They always had enough people working. Uh, they had part time um, helpers that would just help in the coffee area, which was great. Now it's just, man, very noticeable when you come somewhere every day for several years, just the, de the decline. And most of the good workers that work there, they're gone. They just can't put up with it anymore. And they're leaving. So I understand, like, there's different locations, but Quick Trip has just been expanding, 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 and building and just going nuts. But it almost seems, and this is just my opinion, that they need to maybe rein that in a little bit and try to take care of the stores that they already have. Just my opinion, you can take that or leave it. All right, we have another long drive all the way out to Eagle. It's about 45 minutes from here. This is the last time we're going out there putting the final seal on. So that's good. Uh, the one thing he did mention is, well, I gave him the idea that he might want to put a fire pit area down below the patio we just put in and they were kind of seriously thinking about that. For now, let's get out there. Gorgeous morning, it's 47 degrees right now. Nice drive through the country. Gorgeous start to my birthday so far. I'm on the way to the first job in Eagle. We've passed this truck several times now. It has like the perfect patina. <laughs> Fender's been welded or stitched back together. It's a little bit more beat up than it looks like from the road. It's got rot holes in it, but it's a cool truck. I'm going to send a picture to Eric and tell him I bought it. He's not going to believe me. Just pulling up here. Going to load up some sealer and knock it out. Good morning, young man. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> huh? Appreciate that. Yeah, no biggie. Where's my gift? No. Well, actually, <laughs> so I didn't have time to really go shopping, so what's yeah. that shirt for you wear? Ah, uh, double extra large. Oh, okay. Just some fire department shirts. Oh, those like, are my favorite, man. I was like, well, they're long sleeve, and I think I got a couple short, well, one short sleeve. So. Yeah, those are awesome. Thank you very much. No Dude, it's cold out here. It was warmer by my house. Really? Yeah. Kettle Moran. Like, good guy, some shirts. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, no worries. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Two coats now. <laughs> and then we're done. That was pretty good with the amount of sealer. Right. All right. One more coat. Right on to the second one. Man, that looks so nice. That does look awesome. Now you're gonna have to spend a fortune on new patio furniture though. Well, last weekend we went down to Addicted to Deals guy. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, this pickup truck is loaded, the trailer's already loaded. Yeah? Yeah. That one turned out really, really, really nice. That is a really great look with the regular standard color concrete. I think it was a light gray release I used, not medium gray. I used light gray release and uh, it looks really cool. I like it. So we'll go seal that last one 
it's only uh like what time is it 8 13 right now so we're doing good oh, it looks perfect all right it's ready to go and the color looks way better than it does at my house let's go get our stuff and knock it out that's looking really good i think i got the uh the easy teak has the right blend on this one. You can see how that looks. It's got the nice dark gray mixed in. That looks real nice. Real, real nice. I like it. Okay, that's one coat. And it looks really good. The colors look really good. It goes well with the house. It's nice and light. You're not going to be burning up down here on the patio. But it looks natural. And I'm happy with it. So I'm going to give it five minutes. This stuff dries super fast, which is another benefit. And I'll just jump right back on it and hit it with the second coat. And then we're going home. All right, that's it. I can't walk around. It gets all muddy again, but you get the idea. It turned out good. So I already know this guy's gonna be happy with this. All right, I'm going home. I'm going to edit. And then later I'm gonna go to dinner with my wife for a birthday dinner, so it should be fun. All right, I will see you guys on Monday. Adios.